Good evening and welcome. In a few minutes, we'll be talking about losing things in the city and about how some people can get hospital treatment in their own homes. But we start with noise. For some residents, it's heavy traffic and car alarms that are a nuisance. But for others, it's loud people out late at night. And as our Dublin correspondent John Kilrain discovered, there's evidence to suggest that noise pollution actually damages our health. Mick Egan has been renting his apartment in Temple Bar for more than 20 years, since before the area was fashionable. But for 15 years, he's been dealing with the effects of a nightclub across the road. When the summer came and people were, the streets were thronged with people, packed out, because they'd be coming out of the nightclub where they were obviously um, dehydrating and very hot and sweaty inside there, coming out on the street and it was really loud with a lot of huge mob of drunken people out on the street. Cars trying to get through, taxis trying to get through, a shouting, beeping of horns, and that will happen through the night. From what I've seen of other cities in Europe, um, in Germany, uh, in Spain, that uh, this doesn't seem to go on. They seem to, you pass places where there is a slight hum coming from inside and the, the owners of the establishments invest in soundproofing and uh, want to keep good relations with their neighbours. Buskers cause complaints on other streets. Temple Bar means a good night out for many, but it's also supposed to be a residential area. Things have got noisier since the smoking ban, and this mobile phone footage from another part of Temple Bar shows how boisterous it can get around 3 a.m. But it's not just these residents who are losing sleep. Many city dwellers are suffering from loud traffic noise. We're living in a city that doesn't sleep in so far as uh, it's around over, just over 50% of the population within the city are being exp exposed to nighttime levels which would be deemed to be unacceptable. Dublin City Council has carried out a survey which has found some areas have excessive traffic noise all the time. In particular, the areas in purple here, along the Quays and on Bolton Street. But the city doesn't have many quiet areas at all largely because of the high rate of private car usage. We can uh, put down quieter road surfaces or re replace the concrete with tarmacad and asphalt. The EU wants us to develop action plans in relation to how we manage noise. There are other areas in relation to quiet areas where we're obliged under the directive to preserve these quiet areas. And this is the challenge of how we in a never expanding city and a noisier city, how do we maintain these quiet areas? Some medical researchers claim that noise pollution can physically harm you. A couple of recent studies uh, have suggested that you can actually measure the physical effects of noise on uh, things such as blood pressure and hormone levels in the body, and that the effects on blood pressure are significant the effects on hormone levels are significant and it is suggested that the combination of both could predispose people to heart attacks. Burglar alarms are another common source of stress around the city. Otherwise it seems to be a choice between traffic or nightclub noise for many residents. I think the trick really is to uh, to blank it out. When you start getting upset about it, when you, when you start taking it to heart, and uh, particularly when another person tells you, oh, just um, there'll be no more problems, and when you get let down constantly, you can start getting angry and really frustrated. It's my belief that government, including local government and, the, and civil society, have a serious obligation to look at these factors. They're stress factors and they may be partially responsible for the increase that we see in many diseases. We'd encourage the public to get involved. We want to know what they think about noise and we'd like to know what actions they will, would be willing to bear if we did implement them. Dublin City Council has until July to produce its EU action plan following public consultation. Every day in Dublin, an astonishing number and variety of items are left on our public transport systems. And who among us hasn't at one stage or another forgotten a bag, a mobile phone or an umbrella? 
So what happens to all this lost property? Dublin's inhabitants are on the move and are not always bringing their belongings with them.